Therefore, a man should leave his family and expand his horizons with his wife. They shall be honest, vulnerable, unfettered, and shall not be ashamed. You each give the gift of your heart and its loyalty, its willingness to risk, and its courage to love. Do not demand perfection of each other or of yourselves. Give each other the strength to stand apart and seek out your unique destiny. Strive to always give more fully and take an active role in your lives together. Find joy, comfort, and strength in each other. And now we'll have a reading from, from the book of life what do you mean by love love is the unknowable it can only be realized only when the known is understood and transcended only when the mind is free of the known then only will there be love so we must approach love, love negatively and not positively what is love to most of us with us when we love in it there is possessiveness dominance or subservience from this possession arises jealousy and fear of loss, and we legalize this possessive instinct. From possessiveness arise, arise jealousy, and the innumerable conflicts with each one is familiar. Possessiveness, then, is not love, nor is love sentimental. To be sentimental, to be emotional, excludes love. Sensitivity and emotions are merely sensations. Love alone can transform insanity, confusion, and strife. No system, no theory of the left or of the right can bring peace and happiness to man. Where there is love, there is no possessiveness, no envy. There is mercy and compassion, not in theory, but actually for your wife and for your husband and for your children, for your neighbor and for your servant. Love alone can bring about mercy and beauty, order and peace. There is love with its blessing when you cease to be. From Zarabeth's mother, Lori. Heather. Lori and Heather. They're both here. Whatever. Heather Peter. Uh, congratulations. Today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know. And you are the guy who decides where to go. You'll look up and down streets, look them over with care. About some you'll say, I choose not to go there. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet, you're so, too smart to go down any not-so-good street. And you may not find any you'll want to go down. In that case, of course, you'll head straight out of town. It's opener there in the wide open air. Out there are things that can happen, and frequently do, to, beauty, to people as brainy and footsy as you. And when things start to happen, don't worry, don't stew. Just go right along, you'll start happening too. Oh, the places you will go. You'll be on your way up, you'll be seeing great sights. You'll join the high flyers who soar to high heights. You won't lag behind because you'll have all the speed. You'll pass the whole gang and you'll soon take the lead. Wherever you fly, you'll be the best of the best. Wherever you go, you will top all the rest. Except when you don't, because sometimes you won't. You'll get mixed up, of course, as you already know. You'll get mixed up with many strange birds as you go. So be sure when you step, step with care and great tact. And remember that life's a great balancing act. Just never forget to be dexterous and deft. Never mix up your right foot with your left. And will you succeed? Yes, you will indeed. 98 and 3 quarters percent guaranteed. Kids, you'll move mountains. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. <laughs> to be married today. Yes, it is. <laughs> Having heard it is your intention to be married today, <laughs> I now ask you to declare your vows. Today I take you to be my husband.
care about your beauty, heart, and mind inspire me to be the person I can be, the best person I can be. I promise to laugh at you in times of joy, comfort you in times of sorrow. I will share in your dreams and support you as you strive to achieve your goals. I will listen to you with compassion and understanding, speak, with, speak to you with encouragement. And finally, I promise to love you, respect you, honor you, and sharing my love with you. In Egypt, the circle is a symbol of eternity. No beginning and no end. The rings signify the never-ending love between the couple. This was also the origin of the practice of wearing the wedding ring on the finger of the left hand, which the Egyptians believed to house a special vein that was connected directly to the heart. The hole in the center of the ring also had significance. It wasn't just considered a space, but rather a gateway or a door leading to things and events both known and unknown. I, Zarabeth Blair Golden, take you, Aiden Carter Quinn, to be my lawfully wedded husband. I, Zarabeth Blair Golden, Zarabeth Lair Golden to be my lawfully wedded wife. I, Aiden Carter Quinn, take you, Zarabeth Lair Golden, to be my lawfully wedded wife. And now I get to say my favorite part of the ceremony. Zarabeth and Aiden, it has been an honor to officiate your wedding. By the authority vested me by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride.